Creating a Bibliography in Chicago Manual of Style, 17th Edition, Notes Bibliography System. Your bibliography begins on a separate page at the end of your research paper. The word bibliography is centered at the top of the page with two empty returns between it and the start of your citations. Your citations begin flush with the left margin, are single spaced with a hanging indent where the citation wraps to two or more lines. There is an empty return between citations. Citations are listed in alphabetical order by the author's last name or the first full word of the title of the work where no author is listed. You can use the Paragraph Settings dialog box in Microsoft Word to set your hanging indents and line spacing. Each item you cite in the footnotes of your research paper should also be cited in your bibliography. The bibliography is an alphabetical listing of all items cited in your paper. It is easy to transform the initial footnote entry of an item into a bibliographic entry for the same item as illustrated here. There are minor changes to the author's name and periods in the bibliographic citation where commas appear in the footnote, and a few other changes as well. This video will show you the differences between your footnote citation and your bibliographic citation. The basic components of a bibliographic citation are the author's name, last name first, the title, capitalized headline style, with the titles of books in italics and the titles of articles in quotation marks, and publication information, which differs for each type of publication, but more on that later. In a Chicago-style footnote, the author's name is written as it is said, first name first. However, the bibliography is organized alphabetically by author's last name. So in the bibliographic citation, the author's last name is listed first, followed by a comma, and then the first name, and a period. Periods separate pieces of information in the bibliographic citations, whereas commas separate pieces of information in the footnote citation. Just another difference between the two. When there is more than one author, only the first author's name is reversed, and the item is filed alphabetically by the first author's surname. Two the Oxford ten. comma is used before the word and, which precedes the last author listed. The Oxford comma is a comma used after the penultimate item in a list of three or more items before the word and or the word or. See the author's example on this slide. An item with more than 10 authors requires a different treatment. List the first seven authors individually and then after the seventh author's name use the abbreviation et al meaning and others. If there is no author attributed to the work, begin the citation with the title of the work and alphabetize according to the first full word of the title, leaving off any leading articles such as the or a or of. Titles are treated the same in the footnote and bibliography. Book titles are italicized, while article titles are not italicized but are encased in quotation marks. Subtitles are preceded by a colon. All major words of the title and subtitle are capitalized. Publication information can vary wildly depending upon the item cited. That is why we provide many examples and handouts. The publication information for a book, for example, can include editors and translators, volume number, city of publication, publisher's name, and a URL or DOI if electronic. Publication information for an article will always include a date of publication, usually including a month as well as a year, and possibly a day as well, the name of the journal, magazine, or newspaper publishing the article, as well as a volume, issue number, and page numbers of the article. Again, if the item is accessed electronically, the URL or DOI. If the item is from a library subscription database, the name of the database is necessary. And don't forget to use the permalink URL. Here's a bibliographic citation from a print journal. You can see the author's name is last name first, followed by a period. The title is in quotation marks with a period inside the quotation marks, followed by the journal name in italics, volume number, issue number, date in parentheses, and page numbers followed by a period. And here's how that appeared in the footnote. See, we just switched the author's name around and replaced the commas with periods to turn this footnote into a bibliographic citation. Now down below is the same article from a library database. 
we made a few more changes here to turn this footnote into the bibliographic citation, adding the name of the database and a period after the page numbers and before the DOI. Here's a simple book bibliographic citation, author, title, publication information, date. Here's how it changed from the footnote. Again, we switched the author's name around and changed out the commas to periods. Oh, and took out the parentheses around the publication information. And pretty much the same alterations for the ebook. Switch the author's name around, change the commas to periods, and take out the parentheses. You can list more authors in the bibliographic citation than you can in the footnote citation, so the rules are a little different. As you can see here in the footnote citation, because there were more than three authors, we used the abbreviation et al to indicate and others. In the bibliographic citation, we are allowed to list up to seven authors before using et al. So here we go listing all the pythons in this citation, followed by a period. Also notice that for some reason the DVD, or type of media, has moved from the end of the footnote citation to after the title and before the director in the bibliographic citation. Must be one of those Chicago things. Don't ask, just do. The podcast changes from footnote to bibliographic citation are pretty standard as well. Change the first author's name around, put periods where there were commas. If you use auto-generated database citations, Oh yes, the library databases will format citations for you, and they do a pretty good job, or an online citation generator. Make sure you check those citations against a reputable source to make sure they're correct before turning your paper in. After all, those people aren't getting a grade for those citations, but you are. For more citation help, see the Chicago Manual of Styles 17th edition at any library reference desk or on reserve at your campus library. Also, check out our Citation Research Guide. San Jacinto College librarians are always willing to help. Just ask a librarian.